Welcome to JK Solutions channel. This video is all about electrical power distribution system and transformer sizing calculation at low voltage. And uh, some of my previous videos, power distributions were done at uh, medium voltages, mainly 11, uh, 11 kV or 33 kV. But in this uh, situation, even the supply transformer, which is a, a which has a 33 kV, so the 33 kV is stepped down to 400 volts for the purpose of distribution at a low voltage. Okay, as uh, indicated by the topic of the or the title of this uh, video. Meanwhile, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and uh, hit the notification bell so that uh, you can be aware of uh, the new videos that are coming up. Thank you. For the purpose of uh, thorough understanding of the concept of uh, power distribution system at low voltage and uh, transformer sizing calculation, so the concept is uh, illustrated making use of uh, an example as follows. Example, the all-inclusive phase loads of a building are red phase 70 kVA, yellow phase 80 kVA, blue phase 75 kVA. Then the A part of the question is draw schematic diagram for the system. B, calculate the total building load. C, hence or otherwise determine the transformer rating for the building. Given that the available footage that the building location is 33 kV at 50 Hz, neglect transformer losses. So that is the question. Now, solution to the problems. A part, the schematic diagram for the system. Normally, for a particular electrical power distribution system there are always three sides we have the main side which is the, the main voltage supply side the generator side and the interlock section as well and from the interlock section we have uh, the common bus section which is this one this line from where we have circuit they are going uh, circuit breakers going to the loads. These loads could be distribution boards or some other kinds of the of loads. So here we have uh, the supply. Since uh, the question says that the available footage at the location of the building is 33 kilovolts. So that is why we are making use of 33 kV, 33 slash 400 volts, and 33 kV slash 400 volts uh, transformer. Step down transformer, of course, we have delta and star. So that is the reason for that. Assuming it is 11 kV that is available, we use 11 kV. All right, since we can get a transformer that can step that can step uh, 33 kV to 400 volts. That's why we are using it. And then we have the meter here. This is the metering unit in this box. So we, the meter is usually together with uh, this circuit breaker, this uh, MCCB model K circuit breaker, which is uh, 400 half in this case. What determines the magnitude of uh, or the ratings of the circuit breaker will be known later. So, what, what, uh, what we are saying is that there must always be a circuit breaker before the meter, okay, for flexibility in usage. Now, we have a circuit breaker here. Then here also, we have this uh, encapsulated MCCB here. And then we have the cable. So the cable should be selected according to the size of uh, 
the baker in this situation. So the same thing here. In fact, all the cables, the current carrying capability of the cable in each case should always be higher than the rating of the uh, than the current rating of the circuit breaker. So uh, we hope that that is not a difficult task. I mean, selecting the sizes of the cable, right? So. We have here, this, uh, this is the interlock, this uh, dotted line, mechanical interlock. is a mechanical interlock in the sense that it is not automatic in this case. So, when there is power failure, this, uh, when there is power failure, this circuit breaker will need to be opened. And this one will be closed. So that the generator output will come here and it will be applied available to the common board section and ends to the load. So and when the power is restored and the generator will be shut down. So the two will alternate. One will close, the other one will open, and when the power is restored, the other one the, the, the mains will be main side will be closed, this, the main circuit breaker will be closed why this one will be opened and that is the schematic diagram as required by the question now b part face load red face 70 kva yellow face 80 kva blue face 75 kva actual load is equal to 3 times 80 kva which is equal to 240 kva um this uh, 80 kva is the highest phase load as i explained in one of my previous uh, videos having to do with uh, transformer load collation slash uh, transformer size uh, calculation so in this situation we multiply three by the highest Phase load, which is 80 kV. It shouldn't be the algebraic sum of the phase loads. Now, have 10% possible future load, then transformer uh, rating determining load is equal to 240 plus 24 kVA, which is equal to 264 kVA or 264,000 kVA. So, this is the building load. 264 kV, which is the answer to the B part. Then we can move further to calculate the building load current, which is equal to 264,000 VA divided by root 3 times 400 volts. From this uh, formula, this is uh, apparent power, which is equal to root 3 times V line times I line. From where we, from which we can we calculate uh, I line to be equal to 381 ampere triple phase with neutral all right in this case it doesn't mean that the neutral current is uh, 381 we are just saying that we have three phases plus neutral it is the line current which is equal to the phase current in this situation that is 381 this is 381 the current flow in this uh, phase also is 381 and also in this uh, phase is also 381 so actually we can call this one the red phase and this one will be blue phase i mean yellow phase rather so this one will be yellow phase yellow phase and this will be blue phase okay so let me so yellow face. So on the this is the secondary side and this is the primary side. We have 33 kV line to line. And that is the answer to the B part of the question. Moving on. C part. To calculate the the transformer rating, building load is 264 kVA. Hence Transformer rating is equal to 300 
KVA, 33 KV slash 400 volts at 58. So we choose the transformer rating that is higher than the building load. So the next one is uh, 300 kVA. Then we can check what is the, the transformer current is 300 uh, kVA or 300,000 VA divided by root 3 times 400 from uh, the apparent uh, formula. This formula S is equal to root 3 V line I line. So from there we can calculate the current. Okay, so if you, uh, if it is correctly calculated, so the answer is 433 ampere triple phase with neutral, which is greater than load load current calculated in the B part. So and that is showing that 300 kVA at 50 Hz with I mean with uh, 33 kV on the primary side and 400 volt on secondary side transformer is appropriate for the building load. And that uh, is the answer to C part. One can move a step further by having the D part. So D part one, so transformer maximum secondary side current is equal to the 300,000 VA divided by root 3 times 400 and that the answer is 433 TPN. Okay, so we are talking of this uh, star side, all right, that's the secondary side. So, on the primary side, we are making use of uh, the fact that we are neglecting the losses, the transformer losses are the iron uh, loss, iron losses, and the copper losses, so we have the two get together, they are negligible compared to the rating of the transformer, the active power of the transformer. So we move ahead, it, mean, it therefore means that the power on this side is equal to the power on this side. So bearing that in mind, transformer maximum primary side current is equal to 300,000 uh, uh, VA. Okay, divided by root 3 times that 3000 volts. Since the, the primary side the footage line current, I mean, since the primary line footage is uh, 33 kV, and then the answer is 5.25 ampere triple phase. So, triple phase in the sense that there is no neutral on the primary side because that is the data side and that is the end of uh, the last part of the question thanks for watching finally if the video is found useful please do subscribe to my jk solutions channel thanks for watching